Hi everybody, welcome back to another technical demo around the Quarkset application. This video, I'm going to walk you through how to consume the reactive gRPG service with the Quarkset Immunity application. So this is the second part of the how to implement a gRPG service on top of the Quarkus. If you don't have any chance to watch the first video, please make sure to watch the first one because it will uh, be very helpful to understand uh, how to implement gRPC extension on the Quarkus framework. All right, let's get started. So uh, there are a couple more ways to consume gRPC on the Quarkus application. We learned about uh, the blocking API consumption in the demo one, and uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the reactive on mutiny in the Quarkus application. And you can also inject a gRPC channel in the Quarkus application as well. Uh, let's go through the demo, how it works. All right, uh, this is uh, the existing my application we uh, implement in the demo one, uh, how to implement a uh, blocking gRPC. Uh, let's take a look at that one more time to recap so very quickly. So go to the uh, Hello World profile file. Uh, we define a couple more, uh, a few options like Java multiple files and the package name here. And the more importantly, we define a service name like a gRPC and the exchange message and hello request and reply. And also we uh, extend a hello service based on uh, generated gRPC uh, implementation base. And in order to uh, consume and actually invoke the gRPC service, we use the uh, gRPC annotation and also we're gonna reuse the stub file, the grid blocking stub. And the my Quarkus application already running as a development mode. And let's try to using a uh, reflection API uh, to make sure uh, this gRPC is in bulk. And I got uh, the right result, hello Daniel O. And also I tried to access endpoint, actual endpoint, and I got the same result, hello Daniel O. All right, so this application is still working properly. Okay, let's try to add the mutiny extension uh, to consume uh, Muni, uh, 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 the gRPC service here. Okay, so we're gonna add, we just add the Muni extension. So Muni is the reactive program library allowing to express and compose a synchronous action. So first of all, uh, we just need to uh, uh, change the service here. Uh, let's say change the name first, the reactive, uh, hello service. You know, we need to change the class name as well, along with the file name, the React hello service here. And then uh, we just, uh, let's try to delete uh, the existing code and uh, delete the extension, extension here. So we need to uh, extend uh, the mutiny uh, implementation base rather than the blocking. So we extend the newly and then uh, override the, the new method, the public, uh, the, uh, the unit type, and, and hello. So uni uh, offers two type of uh, a synchronous action, like a uni, and uh, you can uh, have some different type multi-item stream based on multi-stream. Uh, so in this case, we're gonna use the uni uh, types uh, when you invoke the, the muni uh, program library for reactive system. And it, the return, uh, the object is a uni, just create a form and item, and then uh, the, the same, say hello, and uh, the item is, so we're gonna put the hello reply, so we're gonna new build the message here. And the same message is uh, came from uh, the, the muni and hello, and uh, we're gonna add the, uh, the parameter name from the request, add uh, get name here, okay? So we just created new uh, reactive services uh, based on single tone CDI beans, all right? And also we don't, we don't need to, we can delete unrequired unre uh, import file to make uh, clean the Java classes here. All right, here is the, our the resource file. Okay, let's try to change that, uh, the endpoint first. So endpoint is a blocking. Maybe we're gonna change that uh, more, uh, make it clear. So go to, uh, let's say the mutiny and also uh, the method name, maybe change the uh, blocking, the replace mutiny, replace blocking. And then 
the CDI injection, uh, we're gonna change that, uh, the reactive, uh, the, we're gonna use the uh, Muni, uh, uh, Muni stop file uh, because we need to invoke uh, the Muni uh, greater gRPC service in this case. So Muni gRPC, this all uh, gRPC uh, stop file was generated automatically when you define in your hello world profile. All right, so change that, invoke the mutiny hello service here, and say hello, and the same uh, request, and uh, we need to new build the request message, and then uh, this is uh, on item, uh, this is not string type, and on item, and uh, transform this message uh, to hello reply as the uh, return message here, and a get message uh, as we define in a service. And one more thing we need to do, uh, we change the return type. Here we use the string return type when you consume blocking uh, gRPC, but in this case, we need to muni or multi. So in this case, we already defined the unit uh, type with a string uh, in a service. So we just, we, that's why we need to replace the unit string type. All right, let's try to invoke endpoint once again to recompile packaging and redeploy my running on top of my running focus here. And let's try to uh, reflection uh, uh, API first to uh, this is uh, totally working. So Muni, hello, Daniel. Okay, this is totally working my reactive uh, gRPC consumption. Okay, let's try to one more time to access the actual endpoint. Uh, the HTTP and hello and a mutiny and a parameter like a Daniel O, so my name, and it should be returned uh, with the mutiny hello and comma Daniel O. Yeah, totally working. So this is the how uh, to consume the reactive uh, the gRPC programming on Quarkus. All right, uh, just to recap uh, what we run today. So we're gonna run how to consume the reactive gRPC on Quarkus application. Also, we already known uh, how to implement a gRPC specifically broken API on Quarkus extension. I think it's very helpful for you to implement reactive or traditional blocking API using gRPC service on top of the Quarkus application framework. And please make sure to subscribe my YouTube channel for the next interesting and practical example. Thank you for watching today and have a good rest of the day.